So today I'm here to spill the tea about a new book. Not really. Hi everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do my book review for the book Ziggy, Stardust and Me by James Brandon. This book came out on August 6th of this year and it is a YA contemporary -ish historical fiction type book. It's set in 1973 around the time of the Watergate scandal in Missouri. The Vietnam War is still going on and homosexuality is still considered a mental illness. It's still in the DSM and it's still very frowned upon and condemned and in some places it's even illegal. So we follow 16 year old Jonathan Collins as he is trying to navigate his way through high school. He has asthma and he has super bad anxiety. He's bullied and he's just having such a hard time and his dad is such a He's an alcoholic, um, he's kind of a druggie, and he's homophobic, and he is just completely neglectful of Jonathan, so he's got a really bad home life as well. And on top of all of that crap that he has to deal with, he is also going through conversion therapy for being a homosexual. And so he's having to try to cope with that and try to come to terms with who he is as a person and whether or not conversion therapy is going to work for him or whether he should just give up and just accept and admit to the fact that he is gay. One day at the beginning of the school year in his He's in the bathroom trying to get away from bullies and he starts recording um, his thoughts. It's a coping mechanism that his therapist taught him and he doesn't realize that there's someone else in the bathroom with him. And so in this really cute scene, he ends up meeting this boy Webb who is a Native American and they start to develop a friendship. They have a lot of similar interests. They love the same music and they're both outsiders. As they get closer, Jonathan is starting to realize that he has feelings for Webb, but because of his conversion therapy and the way society is, he's just really fighting it. While it didn't end the way I thought it would, it did end on a very hopeful note. Honestly, this was a difficult book to read, but a really good book. I really enjoyed Jonathan as a character because he is flawed, but he just tries his hardest and he's so endearing. In the time that he was in, like this book just really brought to light how brutal it was to be gay or queer in the 70s era America. Some of the things that people said and just his bullies with how they treated him was just heartbreaking. And there were just some scenes where I would just have tears falling because I just felt so horribly for Jonathan and for Webb. Even though Webb is a lot more assertive and based on his background and what he's gone through he is more inclined to stand up for himself it just it broke my heart but it was a hopeful book one cool aspect as you might guess from the title Ziggy Stardust and me Jonathan's favorite musician is David Bowie which was the main reason why I wanted to pick this book up because of the title and the cover is just gorgeous. And Jonathan really identifies with David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust era. And 
that over the top, just be who you are, lyrics like I love you and accept you for who you are, it's okay to be you. Jonathan just really finds comfort in that and he just listens to those albums over and over. And that's another thing that he and Webb bond over. I loved all the musical references, like um, Jonathan and his best friend Starla like to watch Soul Train on Saturday mornings, and that's what they call going to church because that's their religion is music, which I thought was so sweet. And I just, I love that. Like, it's so 70s. I will say, this is a heavy book in that it deals with a lot of heavy topics. There are trigger warnings for language, conversion therapy, electroshock therapy, sexual assault, violence, mention of suicide, racist slurs, hate crimes, alcoholism, and police brutality. Lucy! Just be prepared going into that. But I thought the way James Brandon handled it was really well done. I just love the journey that Jonathan takes, even though he goes through some horribly, horribly heartbreaking stuff. His journey leads him to a more hopeful place, and I really appreciated that. It's got really good rep in it. It has um, queer characters, people of color, representation for different home lives, different economic backgrounds. Overall, I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. I loved it so much. <laughs> but if you have read it, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to talk to somebody else about it because I don't know anyone that's read it yet and I am dying to talk to someone who's read it so I don't have to worry about spoilers. Or if you haven't read it, are you thinking of reading it now? Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified anytime I upload new content. See you guys next time. Bye.